there are hundreds of different kind of cheese that are available in the market and all of these cheese they have different flavors to them now let us see how cheese is made firstly bacteria acts upon milk and converts it into curd after that the curd is heated and then a lot of salt is added to the curd what the salt does is that the high concentration of salt outside draws the water out of the curd by the process of osmosis osmosis is the process by which water moves from a high concentration area to a low concentration area across a semi permeable or a selectively permeable membrane now because of osmosis water is drawn out so there is no water content present in the curd so the bacteria that was growing inside the curd cannot grow any further and finally the bacteria dies now at the end of this process curd converts into cottage cheese now after this step different kinds of molds which is a kind of fungus is acted upon uh, on these cottage cheese and finally cheese is produced and the different flavors are uh, present in the cheese because of the different kinds of molds that act on the cheese now let us see how fungus like yeasts help in the baking industry to manufacture bread in the baking mixture that contains flour salt is added a fat like oil and water is mixed together to form a dough now the dough is compact and is devoid of any pores but if you see a bread you will find that there are a lot of these pores present now how do these pores appear how do these pores form let us find out see yeasts are added to the flour mixture and then the dough is prepared now if you keep this dough for a few hours then after a few hours you will find that the dough has increased its volume to about 3 times so how did this happen let us find out the chemical uh, equation behind this entire process well glucose forms starch so the glucose that is present in the flour is acted upon by yeasts to make alcohol carbon dioxide and atp which is the currency of energy now this carbon dioxide form the air bubbles when the bread is baked these bubbles expand and gives a light and a spongy texture to the bread this formation of alcohol from glucose by the action of yeast is used by breweries to manufacture alcohol wines and beers let us see how that happens well grapes are acted upon by yeasts and they are kept in airtight barrels so that the yeasts can grow anaerobically that is without the presence of air so glucose gets converted into alcohol when fungus grows anaerobically now the source of glucose are the grapes so glucose from the grapes on being acted upon by yeasts get uh, or they form alcohol carbon dioxide and energy in the form of atp now did you know that fungus can also be edible yes there are a few varieties of fungus known as uh, mushrooms which can be edible and it is a very popular food item eaten by people all over the world 
Now, mushrooms generally grow during the monsoon season. You will find a lot of mushrooms growing at the base of trees. But all mushrooms are not edible. A few of them can be very toxic and very poisonous. But these varieties of mushrooms, which are known as the button mushrooms, are the most popular and they can be eaten. Now let us find out how these button mushrooms are cultivated. Firstly, food for the mushrooms are prepared, which is a nutritious mixture of wheat and chicken manure. This process by which food is prepared for the mushroom is known as composting. Next, what is done is, the seeds of mushroom that contains the mycelium are spread on these compost, and this process is known as spawning. And finally, these seeds are covered so that a constant environment can be maintained. So within a few days, these mushroom seeds grow up to form mushrooms, and finally, these button mushrooms can be harvested.